Black Hippie Radio Entertainment, and this is a special podcast to talk about things that's going on around. Uh, We're going to talk about pro, uh, police brutality. We're going to talk about uh, Black Lives Matter. We're going to talk about a lot of things. Uh, it's one subject me and Dante want to touch on uh, to talk to you, Chicago, about it. As you can know, it ain't no music, sir, because, you know, I just want to get, like, a straightforward, open, you know, discussion about this situation because things that's been going on, that especially been happening to black folks. And before we keep going, let for the record, you know, um, quote unquote, me and Dante are African American. And um, I know all lives matter, white lives matter, Mexican lives matter, Puerto Rican, Asian, uh, who else I'm missing, you know, um, uh, shit, whoever, plaid lives matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All lives matter, but you know, us, you know, being black here in America, you know, we just want to touch on a few things and just talk about a few things and, you know, and just want to get our voice, our opinion about everything that's been going on, you know, with, um, you know, with the things that's going on with New Orleans, not New Orleans, I mean, say Louisiana, which is, you know, New Orleans is the city, but Louisiana is the state, but anyway, um, you know, Dallas and uh, Minnesota. And then I was just looking all the day. It was a Mexican cat. I got to get his name. I just posted it on the fan page, Black Hippie Radio Entertainment fan page. I can find that on Facebook. Uh, Mexican cat just got killed by the police on the 4th of July. You know what I'm saying? By some police brutality. You know, shot, kill. you know? One thing I want to say, these are people who have families. These are people who have kids. These are people who have cousins. These are people who are, were uncles. You know, they were brothers. Fathers, sons, you dig what I mean? So it's it's like a real deep subject, you know. And we just gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about each subject one point at a time, you know. Uh, make sure we get all our facts straight and everything else. And, you know, we're just gonna discuss, you know, what you, um, what you think about the whole thing in Dallas. Let's, 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 let's kick off with that discussion first. What do you think about in Dallas? Um, I what, what's your what's your overall like assessment of it? I mean, look, I don't agree with just taking lives and everything like that. Um, I guess you say retaliation, but with all this stuff going on, especially with at least African American males, you know, getting killed for senseless reasons, did you not think that it was going to be somebody retaliating? I know it didn't happen down there in Dallas or something like that, but. Somebody, somebody's mindset is, man, well, you go take one of ours, we're going to take three of yours or four of yours and stuff like that. The guy was well-armed, well-trained with firearms and everything like that, and, you know, he took it upon himself to put out justice like that. Like I say, I'm not an advocate of that, but it's a reaction to some evil that went on up in the Baton Rouge. So, oh, man, it just – just crazy on just how this stuff happens. But in the aspect of somebody told me this has always been going on. It's just, we got social media and things coming out quicker nowadays than ever, but they always been doing this to us and everything. It's just the news travels fast. You know, um, when I heard about <clears throat> the whole, uh, Louisiana situation over in Biden Rouge, I know I said New Orleans earlier. I'm sorry. It's just that, my mind is just racing right now because I got so much I want to say, and it's just like my mouth can't keep up with my brain. But, um, you know, the whole thing down in um, Baton Rouge, you know, that case there, if if it goes longer, <laughs> I might lose my mind, man. Because uh, me being in the media, you know, I do my research. I look at everything. I look at videos. I break it down. I know how to edit videos and all that's what I went to school for. And um, I seen this dude, man. And the police officer had both of these dudes, had both of his hands. One officer had the right. One officer had the left. And before, you know, before this guy can even reach for anything to even allegedly saying he was reaching for a gun, the officer already had the gun like at least no more than about seven inches ten inches away from his face you get what i'm saying so over excessive force was already happening you know 
and you hit a guy on camera, shoot me then, shoot me, you know. Oh, what guy not going to say that, you know? You, I'm, I'm putting you in, the, you in this situation and everything else, shoot me, you know. Even though he probably wouldn't, I wouldn't have said nothing like that. But what guy wouldn't say, wouldn't say nothing like that when they adrenaline going? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it didn't make any sense, really. I don't care what anybody said to me. I mean, even if you make a threat towards me, <clears throat> I know I got you pinned down. Right. No, you ain't going nowhere. Right. You, you got, you have to, these officers have to understand that when you have a human being, I'm not going to say black, I'm not going to say white, I'm not going to say Hispanic, none of that. When you have a human being pinned down like an animal in a un, in a un, not un, but in a position to where they can't defend themselves, in an uncompromising position, let me say that. Because that's what it is, an uncompromising position. Because even if you got me down there, how can I compromise with you with my head scraping the ground and my, my arm damn near on the other side where my other arm is and all the other shit? So, yeah, I was in an uncompromising position. Right. How? how, how I, man, I got so many questions, man. I mean, at some point, these officers have to know, man. They have to know when they have gone too far, and that's when the police and the government have to look and, like, they have to really understand the psych of these people that they putting behind all this power. You get what I'm saying? You have a gun. You're legally a killer. You have a badge and a uniform, so you're legally and organizationally represented by somebody that has a force in this nation, in this country, in your town, in your state. So I ask that question. Are we just simply hiring these people because they have a clear record? Or are we doing a deeper investigation of these people to make sure they are mentally wrapped tight, to make sure their mental fortitude is actually at a high level? I don't question the police no more. I go deeper. I dig deeper. I ask deeper questions. I talk to you, Captain. What are you doing? Are you going home with your kids just because your night your night ended up good and you ain't have to be out there on the street? Are you really looking into these things? Police chief, I'm looking at you. Mayor, I'm looking at you. What the fuck are you doing to keep me, to keep Dante safe, to keep my son safe, to keep Dante's nephews, nieces, brothers, aunties, uncles? What are you doing? To keep us fucking safe. That's where my question goes. Fuck the police. I understand the police quite well. I would go on the record. My father was a police officer. John Gregory out of the 10th district. And let's just say I seen some shit. And I heard some shit. So I, I, I can see things on both sides. I didn't deal with the streets, man. I didn't got harassed by the police down in Wisconsin. I got tased seven times. Nurse asked me, how did you survive? You're supposed to be dead. I lost feeling on the left side of my body. I got the whole discovery upstairs, the whole report. Seriously. That's why I wanted to talk about that. That's why there's no music. Talk to me. What do you think? Did y'all, you gonna get, tonight, people, y'all going to get into the mind of Black Hippie for real. Y'all going to get to know Jonathan Kia Gregory. And why I, why I believe in the things I believe and why I know the things that I know and I understand the things I understand. And the reason why Black Hippie Radio Entertainment was created is for us. It's to give us a voice. It's, us, it's for us to paint a different picture for ourselves, not for somebody else. You know, this one dude, uh, Makai. Makai X. Johnson. That's supposed to be the sniper down in Dallas. The alleged sniper. They say they blew this guy up and only thing survived was his ID. That don't sound suspicious to you? Yeah, in perspective of you had that um, rally out there in Washington where all these guys, white guys, I want to say white guys, had all these automatic weapons and everything like that. We're going to keep it respectful, though. I mean, that's what they are. I'm not calling them derogatory statements or whatever. You know, if they want to be Italian, I don't know if they were Italian, <laughs> Irish, whatever they were. Right, but right, they right. had automatic weapons. Police were reasoning with them to calm it down or anything like that. They didn't pull out their guns or anything of that nature. And they have literally automatic weapons on them. And they're talking aggressive. They're being hostile and everything of that nature. And they were talking to them, trying to talk them down. 
They didn't look at them like they were hunting any bears or something in the woods or something like that, or they were just animals that wasn't going to respond or anything. They sit there and talk to them. But then you go back and say, uh, was St. Paul, where well, the guy told him, hey, man, I got a gun, you know, but I haven't legally got a gun. I'm reaching for my ID. And then you just take out your gun and you just shoot him. And he's telling you what he's doing. You know, I mean, give him instructions. Whatever. I mean, if you feel threatened, then you I mean you tell him, and I guarantee he will comply. There is proper protocol that they have followed. This is the reason why they go to the academy. They learn the proper protocols. They know how to shoot to harm. Some of these police officers are fucked up in the mind, just like some of these regular ass so called. Wait, wait, did you say shoot to harm? Yeah. Because a lot of them I talk to, man, they ain't harming. It's about shoot to kill. Exactly. That's what they told me out their own mouths. No, and, and see, that's why I asked. That's why I asked the question. Mayor, what are you doing? You're the, you're the top chief. What are you doing to protect the city, man? And that goes all over the United States. What are y'all doing to protect these people? Because my mindset goes, if people are alive, you make more money economically. If you think about it, why would you want to kill people? I don't get it. We always have been looked at as three fifths of a uh, human being, anyway. I I understand that, but if 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 you want, if you really want to change something, you will not destroy. And that's that's what I feel like it is right now. It's a seek and destroy. I, I feel like it's a seek and destroy on, on on all human beings that don't want to comply. But I feel like that us as a, as a black race, I think. We're the number one on the target list because we don't want to comply because it's not built for us. The system is not built for us. Nothing is built for us. We have a crab in the barrel type of mentality. Why? Because we're programmed to think that way. Look at the movies we watch. Look at the TV. Look at everything. What do we have that's positive out there? They even tried to shake Bill Cosby down. How fucking low is that? That's the only positive thing we had on TV growing up, right or wrong. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that that that's my thing. That's what I'm coming to. This is what Black Hippie Radio Entertainment is all about. It's 100 percent dope entertainment. But what I had on there was where the people had a voice, and the reason why I changed that because a lot of people don't want to hear a lot of strong black positive movement all the time. I understand that. So you have to massage a motherfucker. They have to massage their brain a little bit. Come on in. But at the same time, let me get this nugget in your motherfucking brain. You dig? That's what this is all about, man. And this is what we talk about. I want people to come on the microphone. I want them to sit down. I want them to talk. I want them to let it loose. You dig? Because this is what we need to do. Black Hippie Radio Entertainment is heard in 27 different countries. This is your voice, people. This is your voice, Dante. Talk. How do you feel about things that have been going on with the police and as far as, like, black people? I mean, and let, I me, let me get this clear because I had a conversation <laughs> with a guy today, a guy named Jim, a business partner I have. You know, in the cell phone industry. I'm, I'm trying to crack that little industry right now. Um, and he said the one thing that pissed him off is that they're saying that all black lives matter. But he's thinking that, well, he's taking it personal because what you think? My life don't fucking matter neither? He's a white guy. i be honest. Caucasian. Cool guy. But his gripe is, is that why are y'all saying black lives matter, all black lives matter, but not saying all lives matter? That make me feel like I want to address you to say, hey, fuck you. I feel like I'm somebody too. And I kind of understand what he's saying. And I'm going to tell you what I told him, but let me see. What would you respond to him if he asked you that question? And my response is, man, are you getting hunted like a dog? Or are you getting treated like an animal? I mean, look, you got to be in our shoes to understand what we're saying. We got to say this because it's happening too much. Exactly. It has been happening too much for you too got many unarmed years. Too many niggas days. out here. I mean, unarmed. 
it, it makes no sense you're looking at this stuff on TV. Makes no sense. I just.